वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज क्वेश्चन 11 ऑफ सेक्शन 5.2 ओके एंड टुडे अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक सर्किट्स इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर आस्क दैट यूज एंड गेट्स ओके सो वी हैव टू यूज एंड गेट्स और गेट्स एंड इन्वर्टर्स ओके और द कम्बिनेशन ऑफ दीज थ्री गेट्स एज नीडिड टू इम्प्लीमेंट द फॉलोइंग लॉजिक एक्सप्रेशन एज नीडिड ओके सो हेयर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द फर्स्ट थ्री पार्ट्स ओके एंड इन आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट द रिमेनिंग पार्ट्स सो हेयर पार्ट ए इज एक्स इक्वल टू ए बी प्लस B complement C. Okay. So, what is the procedure here? In order to proceed here, what I have to do first of all, I have to look for the inputs. At how many inputs do I have here? So, here I have three inputs, and these inputs are A, B, and C. Okay. So, let me first uh, write them here. So, I have A, B, and C, and the input lines are here. The input lines are. A, B, and C. Okay. So, what are the steps here? I can very easily see here that. Let me use this color for it. So, I can very clearly see here that here A, B is multiplied together, and here B complement C is multiplied together. But here, before the multiplication of B, C, what I have here? Here I have the complement of B. Okay. So I have to use here not gate, and after this not gate, these two are and it. Together, okay. Similarly, these two are again and it together, and at the end, what will happen? These will be odd, okay. So these two will be combined by using this odd circuit, okay. So let me first start it from here, okay. So A B is multiplied together. So here I will have the AND gate, and that is this one two input AND gate, okay. so the output of it is here and uh, the inputs to it are this and this and here i will get ab okay similarly to the other uh, gate i have here another uh, and gate and this is here two input and gate okay but here is a difference to it to one input c is given while for the other uh, input i have here b complement okay so in order to proceed here what i have to do i have to complement this b and to it i will get here b complement okay so what i will get here i will get b complement c okay so these are what these are the and gates and this not gate which has been implemented here and after it in third step what i have to do let me use another color for it and for it i am going to use this orange color okay so this is another or gate and for this it will be implemented here the a b and b complement c are implement uh, are combined together by using this or gate so this or gate is here two input or gate okay to it first input is this one second is this one and the output of it is x equal to ab plus b complement c and what is this this is the output which i wanted to find out okay so this is the implementation of part a here okay similarly for part b what i have here here b is uh, what so let me write it here let me move somehow here okay so here the input what i have here is that is the expression and the expression for it is x equal to a b plus c complement okay and for it let me first see that how many inputs do i have so i have three inputs okay so these are here let me draw them here a b c okay and the input lines are here here and here okay uh, first expression what i have to do here i can see that uh, what i have to do i have to combine b and c complement because this is now bracketed and therefore i have to combine them first but here i have the c complement okay so what i have to do here i have to use the not gate and after this not gate these two are combined by this or gate okay so therefore first of all what i have to do i have to take the 
inversion of this c and here i will get c complement and then this b and c complement are combined together okay so here these are combined together and here what i will get here b plus c complement okay so here i have it so after it let me use another color and this color is here and after it what will happen this and this bracketed one are and it together okay so here i have to use the and gate to input and gate and the output of it will be the combination of these two inputs so here i will have a multiplied by b plus c complement and this is what this is x and this is the required output which i had to find out okay so this is what this is the required output so this is the answer of part b here similarly now in order to proceed to part c okay so let me proceed to part c here so part c here is this and here what is part c that is x equal to a b complement plus a b okay again the same procedure i will follow i have to see that how many inputs do i have here so i have two inputs so the two inputs are a and b okay and what i have to do here a and b complement are multiplied together so and here a b are multiplied together so here this is the not gate and after not gate these two are and it okay here these two are and it together as well okay so here what will happen so let me use this line for it and uh, first of all let me have this and gate okay so this is what this will be a b and with it i have to use another and gate and to it the inputs will be a and b complement okay so for a it will be here it will be a and for b i will have what this will be the inverter and here i will get this b complement and uh, therefore i will have here a b complement okay so uh, after what i have to do i have to combine them by using this or uh, circuit here so or gate here will be like this one two inputs okay so two inputs are here and the output of it will be then a b complement plus a b and this is the required output and the circuit for it is also here and this is the solution for part c here okay so uh, that's it for today in which we have seen three parts the part a okay this is part a part b and part c and we have seen the combinational logic circuits for them okay so i hope you have understood all the steps which have been carried out here and i will see you with some more interesting questions in our upcoming video till then take care of yourself and i will see you soon